I get a lot of questions about how to best prepare for joining the military. These questions come from young men and women who aspire to serve in the Coast Guard, the Marines, Air Force, Army, and Navy. Let's start out by discussing the purpose of basic training. The purpose of basic training is not to make you suffer. The purpose is to teach you how to become a contributing team member of the military. Because most basic trainee recruits are young, with the average age of 18 years old, the drill sergeants need to delete the recruits' selfish and lazy civilian tendencies and mindsets. They will then reprogram or reboot the recruit with a military mindset. You have to be taught a completely new way of life. The military has its own language, paperwork, uniforms, hierarchy. They value time management, honesty, order, teamwork. All of this is very foreign to most recruits. Some people say that the military breaks you down so that they can rebuild you in their image. I don't agree with this. The military doesn't want to break you down. In fact, they want to do the opposite. They want to make you stronger and more capable. But what they want to do is they want to reboot your framework from selfishness and teach you that it's not all about you and that you are now just one member of the team. You are not entitled to anything. You will do what you're told and you will support the team. Rank, responsibility, and freedoms will come as you develop and demonstrate capability and competence. Basic training is more mental than physical. However, the drill sergeants will use the physical stress of basic training to exacerbate the mental stress of getting you over your selfish tendencies and becoming a better marine, airman, sailor, or soldier. Rather than spending all night on YouTube and Netflix, you will clean the barracks, your weapon, exercise, and prepare for the next day's training. Rather than sleeping in and hitting the snooze button, you will wake up at 4 a.m., perfectly make your bed, and go for PT. Rather than wearing your favorite hoodie, you will properly wear your uniforms. Rather than eating junk food and drinking Red Bull, you will eat what you are told to eat, and you will eat when you are told to eat. Rather than lollygagging or strolling, you will march in formation. And when you don't get something right, you are not going to be told, oh, that's okay. Maybe you can do it better the next time. You are going to be harassed and punished with push-ups until you learn to do it correctly. If you are dumb, this is going to be very stressful. But if you are smart and can see the big picture, it's still going to be stressful, but it will be less stressful. If you are weak, it is going to be stressful. But if you are strong, it's still going to be stressful, but it will be less stressful. And this is why I recommend that you arrive to basic training in great shape. You are going to face several different physical challenges at basic training. Let's start with morning PT. Although you are harassed 24 hours a day for seven days a week until graduation, a major physical challenge is going to be morning PT. This will include stretching, calisthenics, and running every day. You will exercise in a very large group. This means that you will not go to the gym or use fancy equipment. You will do push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, body squats, and lunges as a staple for your morning exercises. You can graduate from basic training if you've never worked out a day in your life, but you are going to suffer more. It is best to be prepared for basic training by arriving already able to do these exercises, especially pull-ups and push-ups. Depending on what branch and service you join, your basic training will involve walking with your rucksack or duffel bag to and from various training events. But if you join the Marines or the Army Infantry, you will do a lot of extra ruck marching. You should arrive to basic training already able to walk several hours straight and be able to carry a 30 to 40 pound backpack. All basic trainings involve some variation of hand-to-hand -hand combat training. This is physically demanding and exhausting. I recommend that you arrive to basic training being very proficient at your basic jabs, punches, hooks, and kicks. At basic training, you will do a lot of strength building. As you file into line to go into the dining facility, you will likely do a set of pull-ups before every single meal. This is going to make you stronger. You will negotiate obstacle courses. These obstacle courses are designed to test and build strength and confidence. Some of these obstacle courses you will do as an individual and some of them you'll do as a team. 
Anytime and every time you do something wrong, and this is going to happen a lot, you will be punished with push-ups. When your battle buddy forgets something, or your squad member makes a mistake, you will be punished with push-ups. The push-up is the single most important exercise of basic training. You will do countless push-ups before you graduate. I recommend that you get good at push-ups before you arrive at basic training. I feel compelled to address the subject of physical exhaustion. You will be pushed to and past the point of physical exhaustion every single day. If you can only do 5 push-ups, you will be asked to do 10. If you can do 30, then you will be told to do 40. And if you can do 50 push-ups, you will be made to do 70. Either way, everyone is pushed beyond their limit, to the point of exhaustion. The key is to keep trying. The goal is to never quit. Always give 110%. Always giving 110% will earn you the respect of your drill sergeants and your peers and will help make you a more trusted member of the team. Let's make a quick summary of what we've already discussed. One of the basic training challenges is that you have to get over your individual selfishness. And this is why I recommend that you practice being a great team member. You can do this at the office, you can do it at school, you can do it on a sports team. Mental stress comes through the physical stress of basic training. And this is why I recommend that you accept and accomplish physical challenges. These challenges will build strength and endurance, they will build confidence, and they will help prepare you for the physical rigors of basic training. The smart suffer less than the dumb. And this is why I recommend that you learn as much as you can before you go to boot camp. Talk with a recent graduate. Talk with somebody that is also in your military occupational specialty. The strong suffer less than the weak and this is why I recommend that you arrive in great shape. The drill sergeants will make you give 110%, and this is why I recommend that you get accustomed to always giving 110% to everything you do. I must take this opportunity to promote our 12-week Special Operations Fitness Program. If you are preparing for the military and need a point in the right direction, this program is absolutely for you. Whether you are an experienced athlete looking for a challenge or an absolute beginner who can't yet do 10 push-ups, everyone and anyone can benefit from Special Operations Fitness. Every week you are given four workouts. Workout one and three are circuit-based boot camp style workouts. Experts can do 10 circuits and beginners can do five. Everyone is challenged and everyone gets stronger. Workout 2 is a self-defense kickboxing workout designed to build fundamentals, strength, and confidence. The weekend workout is either a long hike or a cross-training variation. These workouts will come in handy as you are carrying your duffel bags and rucksacks to and from basic training events. Week 6 and Week 10 of the Special Operations Fitness Program prescribes 1,000 push-ups or 200 push-ups a day for 5 days. Experts can do these in 5 sets of 40 push-ups, while beginners can do 20 sets of 10. This will help you develop your form and your strength in preparation for basic training. We also have a diagnostic test in the beginning and a fitness test at the end of the program so you can see for yourself your amazing 12-week transformation. Buy the paperback on Amazon or download the ebook from our website. Hyperlinks are below in the description. For many of you, basic training will be the hardest thing that you have ever done up to that point. I assure you that after basic training, the real challenges begin. But if you do your research, arrive physically and mentally strong, and give 110% towards the well-being of the team, then you are destined for success. Welcome to the team and good luck. Thanks for learning. Please subscribe if you want to learn more and don't forget to forward this video to a friend who also needs to learn this.